Hey guys, just a, just a little uh, yoga happening right there. A little acrobatical, acro yoga happening. Look at, how cool is, I could just watch that all day, Susie. <laughs> yes, yes, isn't it entertaining? Oh my gosh. Well, okay. this wow. afternoon we've got monumental yoga. So we've got some examples of our movement arts yeah. and our acro yoga that will be demonstrated today. We also have many classes throughout the day with several different forms of yoga. We have a large kids yoga class beginning at 530 okay. and the community yoga class, which has traditionally been about 4,000 people, will be happening from 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. Night. Wow. So we're just hopeful to embrace this beautiful day and our, our beautiful monument circle, the centerpiece of our state of Indiana, mm -hmm. and just enjoy a peaceful afternoon. Wow. When you think of everything that this mission is um, in Monumental Yoga, being here for the ninth year, what's so special about that to you? Well, it's just nice. I feel like the community has really embraced what Indie Yoga Movement is doing. We're bringing yoga mindfulness to the kids in our central Indiana schools. And by doing this, we're finding that they're increased their coping skills, it increases their grit, it increases their self-efficacy, it increases all um, their ability to really attain goals and have a growth mindset. So we're doing things that really lead to lifelong success. Wow. And by people coming to this event, it just makes us realize that people really care about our youth. And we've got some great youth here in Indiana. Yes, we do. Now, okay, now we cannot go any longer without mentioning these two people <laughs> right here. This is Kimberly on top, and here is Ron holding her. Oh, look at Ron. Ron, how you feeling down there? I'm doing awesome. That's right. That's my guy right there. I, I slept in the Holiday Inn last night. I feel great. <laughs> the fact that Ron had Kimberly up here doing what they're doing, but also had me up there at about 235 pounds. And he was just like, just get up there, man. Just get up there. <laughs> you said 236. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> Kimberly, how are you feeling up here? I'm fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> how long did it take you to be able to do what you're doing right now? We've been doing it about seven years, but really we just practiced a lot for a couple of years and just kind of got into it. Yeah. Ron, somebody meets you for 10 seconds, then they know you're passionate about this thing. What makes you so passionate? Um, I love the camaraderie of the community. I love working with a partner, the trust, going back and forth, giving up control is awesome. It's almost like being in a marriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, I feel like, you know, I was up there for about three or four minutes, and me and Ron are very close now. We're, we're, we're very tight. We're very tight. <laughs> Susie, just the energy that this brings. And, and, and we can't forget our lovely lady behind us. Angela, she is doing, Angel's doing hula hooping, and it's movement art. And we've got several other movement arts represented today. So we're just wanting the people that are um, bringing unique sports and activities to central Indiana to display them. When you think of... <laughs> The people who don't know about my mental yoga yet, or they're thinking, maybe I should try it, but maybe I'm intimidated by the fact that Ron's just throwing people in the air. No. What would you say to invite them out? Oh, it's totally attainable. Really, the practice of yoga is about breathing. And we have a flow that's attainable for any level of skill. And we invite young and old, all, everyone's included. And so don't feel intimidated. You can just sit there on your mat and lay down and rest awesome. if that's what you're needing for the afternoon. Awesome. Well, well, Susie, with that being said, and, and now that Ron has Kimberly back in the air, I think it's a perfect time to toss it back to Amber. Namaste, Amber. Namaste.